Hey, Loopline here, and I want to go over the Google Competition Finder add-on. So if you don't have the add-on installed, you can go to Add-ons, Show Available Add-ons. Once the list populates, you find the Competition Finder add-on and install it. Once it's installed, we're going to go here to the Competition Finder add-on. And what the Competition Finder add-on does is it pulls the number of results that show up in Google. So when you go to search Google, for instance, and you search for blue widgets, it'll say 1.3 million results found. That's what the competition finder is showing in results right here. So basically what we're going to do is load up some keywords. I'm going to choose from file here and just load up a basic list of keywords, car, real broad term, something more specific, uh, localized, and then just something generic that's just made up. Connections, you can set those. I'm going to leave them on 10. That's fine. Then you get the choice of broad match or exact match. Broad match is it's taking these keywords and typing them into Google and getting them results. Exact match is it's putting quotes on both sides of these. So quote, car, quote, quote, landscaping, Los Angeles, California, quote. So basically you can get your broad or exact match there. And then, um, you know, we've got some other options here we'll talk about in a minute, and then proxies used. I'm not going to use proxies because there's only like three here, uh, but you could go ahead and tick off use proxies and put proxies in there, and it'll show you that status there and then status here. So let's hit start. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on broad. Uh, we can see 4.3 billion results for the word car. Uh, Blue widgets in Canada actually come back with 54 million results. Uh, more than I thought would be. I hadn't run that. And then uh, landscaping with 81 million results. If we wanted to load the same keywords, for instance, and choose exact, we might see a variance there. See with landscaping in Los Angeles, California, uh, a little bit less. And obviously Blue Widgets in Canada, um, quite a bit less results. And that's just the way that Google displays things uh, with its broad match term versus when you force it to use quotes. And so if I wanted to say, all right, well, I don't want this. It's just make-believe. Remove selected keywords. I can do that. I can also hold down the control key on the keyboard and select multiples at a time if I want. And then once I have that done, I have the option to export, and I get various export options. I can get the results in a file, um, scrape box, or as a grid in CSV, that sort of thing. Kind of nice as far as my options go. Now, another thing you can do with this is get a little bit more creative. So let's say I want to load in uh, this file here, which is site colon scrapestuff.com, because I want to see how many results show up for that particular uh, domain that are indexed in Google. So if I have 100 domains and I want to see how many pages are indexed for each domain in Google, I can throw a site on there and throw that in there and then uh, say I want to see how many uh, URLs have the in URL colon tag for instance just for the fun of it so let's hit here and I'm just going to use broad because we don't really need to quote these things per se so hit start and uh, Google comes back with obviously a lot of in URL tag and 89 pages indexed for this particular domain so you don't have to use just keywords you can actually use footprints so pretty much any kind of footprint is going to work. Um, you throw the footprint in there and Google will give you a number of results and that's what you're seeing here for the actual number of results. So a lot of creative ways you can use this. Very handy. Uh, then the export options are great so that you can take and analyze this data and do what you want with it and make good use of it. And that is how the Google Competition Finder add-on works.